welcome back to another week. This week I have the 2024 Honda Civic SI. Finally, another manual transmission here on the channel that I can take you guys through. I'm gonna spend a week with this thing. I've got it in all black. I think it comes standard with the black rims anyways. Do a little quick walk around before I hop in and give you my first impressions on this absolute unit of a manual machine. Only 200 horsepower, but we'll find out this week if 200 horsepower is enough. I think it's. I think it looks pretty cool. The exhaust looks pretty nice out back there. We've got two of them. Very nice, the Civic. I like the red SI badge. There's also one in the front. Trunk space is, is going to be good, going to be like the Touring. So I know I'm not going to have a problem there. Same thing with rear, space, rear seat space. We also have a nice little spoiler back here. Just SI things, you know. Um, I think it looks cool in the black. I'd rather black on black than white on black. I think that looks a lot nicer for the Civic. Nice daytime running LEDs there. Yeah, it should be a solid platform to drive. And let's see. Let's see what the hype is all about with the Civic Si. Let me give you my first impressions. Let's hop in and do that. Here we are in the 2024 Honda Civic Si. I'm gonna put it in sport mode because I'm coming up to a red light anyways. So yeah, you guys are getting a very unique perspective this week and I'll tell you why. Uh, mainly because I am not a daily manual driver. I am not a regular manual driver. I drive manual only when I get press cars that are manual. So, as you can see, I'm like a little bit luggy, a little bit weird with the engine, but still, I know how to do it. But this perspective that I'm able to give you is a perspective by somebody who doesn't normally drive manual cars. So I feel like that's pretty valuable to somebody who's maybe looking at a manual, looking at something fun like the SI, but doesn't necessarily know how that's gonna feel. So I get to show you all of that this week. Uh, so just as like a beginner's thing, as, as something, my first impression are, it's really easy to operate this clutch. That's the very good news. I don't have any problems with it. Like it's, I'm able to feel the bite point quite well, which does help me get it going. And that's the hardest part of any manual, right? Is getting it going. And I feel like the Honda Civic so far has been forgiving, especially because I just picked it up like an hour ago. So I'm still kind of getting my bearings with it, with a manual you know, transmission in general, and it's already being extremely forgiving. Not to mention it does have rev match downshift. So even knowing I have no idea you know, I only have a partial idea of what I'm doing when it comes to manual driving. Uh, it makes me look like a champion. It makes me look like an absolute hero when it downshift rev match for me. So there's gonna be manual cars that I have this year that won't do that, and then I'm gonna have to practice. But I think since this manual is so forgiving, I'll probably practice here on the Civic Si just to get my, uh, you know, my downshift rev matching chops up to, up to what they need to be, you know? Oh, I really like those little, the pumped in audio, look, I know some people probably don't enjoy that, but I do. You can drop a gear and disappear in this little guy. But like I said, 200 horsepower, not that bad. <laughs> and even somebody as novice as I am with the manual transmission can kind of handle it like this. I'm getting wheel spin out of my front wheel drive here. That's, that's kind of impressive, right? Like, that's not something you expect. Okay, Honda. And the handling, obviously, you know, if, if you like the handling in a normal Civic, you're going to love the handling in the Civic Si. I got so much feeling, so much confidence in it. It's really, really solid. One thing I will say is there is quite a bit of road noise, quite a bit of road tire noise as well. A little bit more than I was expecting. But good news, though, ride quality is actually better than I would have ever hoped. I thought it would be a lot more firm, even in sport mode. It's like absolutely no problem, but I don't think it has adaptive suspension. Suspension, it's not like a Integra Type S where that kind of does adapt. This, you're kind of just stuck with what it is. The other thing is I have this big bottle of Gatorade and I keep banging my shoulder on it when I'm trying to shift it. So I think if you have kind of big, big bottles, you're gonna hit stuff in the cup holders. But yeah, as far as first impression goes, it's gonna be a fun week. I'm gonna be able to practice and learn and, and the, the Civic is really gonna be a vessel to do that in. And like I can, you know, like rev match downshift like this and then just let it go. That's not gonna get old. That's a lot of fun. So yeah, I'll pick it back up later where I'll show you interior, more exterior trunk space and everything there is in between. If you're interested in buying a Civic Si, this is what it's like to live with it. Let's get to the rest of the week. All right, so let's go for, well, I'm about to go for a little evening drive, but I wanna show you a cold start because it is kind of cold. It's gonna only warm up here in Quebec for the next couple of days. So let's check this out. So 
We'll do a little cold start right here. I'm going to make some people mad. Since it's cold, look at this. Since I am in Canada, I'll start this up. I get a heated steering button and I get heated seats. Look at that. How's that? Rare, right? Eh? Usually the US gets a lot more than we do, but Canada has this one. Not particularly loud, but definitely loud enough. It's loud enough to give the Civic some personality. This is definitely the most the Civic with the most personality, unless you go obviously with the Type R, but if you're doing cost savings, then this is the way to go. So here we are now on the interior for the Honda Civic SI. I can see all these red accents around me. So let me take you through it and uh, yeah, we'll tell you what we think about it. So here we go. So I've got a really nice red stitch steering wheel. Very good. It's like, you know, it's pretty much the same as what we saw on the touring. I've got adaptive cruise control, lane centering assist. I've also got my volume controls here, which is powered by a Bose sound system, which is nice. Now the people in the US, like I said before, are gonna be a little bit mad. I've got a heated steering wheel as well as I have heated seats in the front and the rear. So yeah, Canadians get it good for once. I also have this digital gauge cluster, which is very nice. It's almost the exact same as the one that we find on the Integra Type S, stuff like that. Uh, but it's good, displays a bunch of content and displays the wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto stuff on the left there, as well as gas and all that stuff. The only thing that I found interesting is because of course I have a manual, it doesn't show me what gear I'm in. And just, I don't need it because I'm okay enough now, but it's just something that when you don't drive manual all the time, it's nice to have some type of digital confirmation that you're in the correct gear. Although you could just use this pattern here and you should be fine. Left-hand side, I do have parking sensors here, traction control off as well as the sensors. And then I've got some illumination controls. I've got these nice little knobs with buttons as well as it's surrounded by red. If you check out the door here, no memory seats, but you've got this nice red kind of, you know, checkered pattern going on to automatic windows, which is really good. Got this kind of, you know, she's on the small side <laughs> of the uh, infotainment stuff, but I don't mind it. I, I think it's good. I think it's good for what it is. This is more of a driver focused car, so you don't really care. As long as it displays your Apple CarPlay and stuff like that, you don't really care about anything else. And also I can control my vehicle settings from in here as well. So I could turn off, like say my rev match downshift. I can also customize the individual mode from here, which is really good. But yeah, if you've seen the one that I showed you on the Integra Type S, it's really the same thing. Same thing with the Touring. It's basically the same, just uh, it's decent though. Got built-in navigation, stuff like that. So can't complain about it. Again, we got the red going here. A little bit of piano black, but I don't touch it there. There, This is where my heated seats are. Dual zone automatic climate control, which is really nice. A wireless charger right here. No USB-C yet for 2024. We're still at USB normal or USB-A. Then I have here some drive mode selectors on or off for the automatic start and stop. Electronic parking brake. Yes, sir, manual transmission. This thing feels so good. Just slides around, slides into gear very, very nicely. I'm a fan of it. I liked it on the Integra. I'm sure the Type R is good uh, because the SI is like the lowest version of all of them and it is really solid. Some cup holders here that it go pretty deep so it's good you don't really rub your elbow too much unless you have a really massive drink then you're going to. A little bit of pocket storage there, not bad. And then we have these nice SI seats. I love these seats. The way it holds you, the way it's holding me right now, the way it holds me when I'm driving because the handling is really good but good handling means you're going to get ripped around a little bit so when you're really pushing it so these seats are really really good to have i like them a lot and yeah really quick little overview of it there's not a lot to go over three pedals as well check that out look at that excellent clutch pedal excellent clutch feel we'll talk about more of that probably a little bit later on in the week when i take you for like a little bit more of a performance drive if we can and yeah i'll uh, i'll pick it back up a little bit later but that's it that's that's the interior for the civic si very simple very sporty but i like it a lot All right, so we're gonna film some performance. So for some reason, the auto start stop completely turned the car off while I stopped to set the cameras up. So that's interesting, but we'll start it back up here. So you have the angle so you can see me being mediocre at doing any type of manual driving because that's exactly what I am. Um, but at least I could get it going uh, relatively easy now, something that wasn't always easy, but definitely I think that uh, the transmission on the Honda is helping me out quite a bit with doing that. I don't think, uh, I think I've definitely had other transmissions that have been harder to use than the Honda one. Uh, same, it reminds me a lot of the one that I had on the 
uh, Integra Type S. It was easy to operate. Clutch feel was really good. Actually, I'd say clutch feel on the Civic Si is more present than the one on the Integra Type S. Like, I feel like the clutch is a lot more heavy. I can actually feel the engagement point a little bit better here. So that's been a lot nicer to deal with. A little bit of wheel spin as I'm like hard on it. But yeah, second gear is not like the power bands I notice are kind of short. So like you end up having like a very active shifting experience. So, but the handling, look at this, like the handling is just bang on. Like I liked it in the touring. So like when I was driving the touring, I told you like, I can't wait to see what the SI has because the touring is so good. And I mean, the SI is definitely not disappointing now. Even like, I thought it would be a lot more of a rougher ride than it was. And like me going over like a bunch of speed bumps and stuff like that around here has not been that bad. Also this rev match downshifting, making me look like a hero, but also I'm not learning anything from, you know, driving like an actual manual. So like later on in the week, I plan to like, you know, take it in my, you know, around my house and kind of turn the, the rev match downshifting off and kind of learn to blip the throttle by myself because it is a skill I need to learn because there's still some manuals like the Subarus and I believe the MX-5 still isn't coming with, you know, um, you know, rev match downshift. It doesn't come with that, that pretty massive assist. So it'd just be nice to learn a little bit more before I get to those things. Performance. that's the case <laughs> there's a lot of Canadian only things I think the Canadians get the best version of the SI I think the Americans are missing out so there's I'm sure there's a lot of SI owners that have already modded it even the 2024 version that if you're wanting to learn how to drive manual I think this is the one to do it on because I've got like you know hill start assist and stuff like that where it will kind of hold the brakes until you get going you do kind of get the rollback so for new maybe for new manual drivers that might make you panic a little bit but as long as you keep your foot in keep giving it some gas you're not really gonna have that much problems so yeah I've enjoyed my time a lot so far with this thing I like the red interior these seats like you know when you're really going around corners and like kind of giving it the beams these seats really really hold you in nicely and like I said the, the ride quality I thought was gonna be worse and it probably could be a lot worse they've done a good job at like balancing performance with also giving us a little bit of, of comfort ride quality it's not making me you know want to visit a chiropractor anytime soon so that's also really good news so yeah just fun to ring it out a little bit dropping the clutch and stuff so much fun so much fun and it just is direct like i can point this thing wherever oh that's fun that doesn't get old and then we're just back to doing the speed limit you know it's a quick little acceleration and then this car is very good at doing the speed limit because it's hard to uh you know it's really hard to go fast without knowing you're actually going fast enough. to really get the acceleration i've got to put my foot all the way in um you know with, with the accelerator so that's one thing but still that's what i mean you can you can have fun and you can also drive this very normally and i really really enjoy and appreciate that duality so i'll uh, i'll leave it there i'll pick it back up later on the week to tell you about other stuff maybe we'll do more manual stuff if i can think of other things to talk about with it i'll uh, i'll do that but i'm about to hit a bunch of speed bumps so it's not gonna be fun to watch that so i'll pick it back up later all right so we're back outside with the honda civic si a little bit of like a nighttime just before the sun goes down kind of walk around for you just so you can see what my black civic si looks like at nighttime let me know do you like the color the black on black black rims black body black spoiler do you like it i think it makes the rear look really cool but i think it makes the the front look a little bit less interesting still a very good looking vehicle overall but i think i just choose like maybe more of a brighter color you know sporty car you don't really want to blend in necessarily i mean probably some people do but i am definitely not so that somebody who wants to blend in let me actually hop in and i'll show you some of the interior stuff at night too all right let's hop in here show you this Ugh, there's not much to go over there's no like ambient lighting nothing crazy like that but you know the, the controls and stuff are all illuminated shifter what well, doesn't matter you you have the numbers there you kind of know them or you don't and then these are all illuminated here 
this is good, this is good. Got some my steering wheel control. I'll probably actually make it brighter, but I actually like max brightness there. Yeah, max brightness looks the best. So yeah, it's really like things are things are illuminated nicely. I can tell where everything is. I can use everything. I can use my wireless charger down here. So I really don't have a problem with it. And it's nice, nice little nighttime shots for you. All right, so outside one final time with the 2024 Honda Civic Si. It is my final night with it. Basically, I'm gonna drop it off tomorrow morning. So I'm not gonna do too much filming there. One final walk around so you can see the black one more time. You can see I have my kid shade in there because I've been taking my baby around in this manual transmission. So, you know, overall, really easy car to drive, really easy car to live with very fun car to live with actually it's got the you know family oriented stuff and then we also have the six-speed manual so it can be and is very very fun to drive and use and own and i think if you're a beginner manual this is the way to go because it's a very very easy transmission to operate i've got five weeks under my belt just generally driving manual transmissions as a whole and this has been one of the easiest ones to get used to so with that being said let me hop into the civic SI one final time and I'll give you my final impressions. Let's do it. Alrighty, so final impressions, unfortunately, for the Civic SI. Another another difficult one to let go of. It has been really, really fun driving this six-speed manual, especially here in the summer. I don't know if it would still be the same amount of fun in the winter, so you can't really go as fast. The grip is probably not as good outside. But as far as driving this thing on summer tires in the summer is very, very fun. Also, the Canadians get the best version of the Civic Si. I've got heated seats, heated steering. So when it is a little bit cold in the morning, well, I've got something for that. And I also have like the shift lights and stuff like that. Like it just makes this car so much cooler uh, to, to have. And it kind of hits all the boxes, right? We've got wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, heated seats, heated steering, and even heated seats in the rear. Something you don't always see at this price point. So that's also very impressive. I'm always driving this thing in sport mode. The handling, I thought the handling on the Sport, on the Civic Touring was good. The Civic Si is a leap above that, and I can't wait to see what the Type R has to get. That's a car that I'm absolutely gonna get my hands on if I can this year before, hopefully before the summer ends. If I can get my hands on it, I definitely will, and you'll see a video on that from me. But yeah, really comfortable, although it doesn't really have any business being that comfortable because it is like the sportier version of the Civic. I prefer these seats actually to the leather ones. They hold me a lot better. They're, they're a lot nicer looking as well. I like the red accents in here. It's just such a solid little platform and I'm, I know people are gonna mod these things out. I know people are gonna increase the horsepower from 200 to maybe 250, 300 is probably possible here. So I think, uh, you know, I think the sky's the limit, but even if you don't, you have a really good baseline to start on. You have something super solid just to go off of and have a little bit of fun. 200 horsepower doesn't always feel like 200 horsepower, especially when you combine a manual transmission into things, it gets so much more fun. And I mean, good on Honda for still offering something in a manual trim. You see a lot of the manufacturers dropping manuals or dropping, you know, entire models, you know, entirely just to go electric or just bringing out an electric version of it and that's it. Honda is still here for the enthusiasts. Acura, the same thing, still making manual transmission a thing and we have to appreciate them for that. And we also have to buy them, otherwise they're gonna stop. So, you know, I think the Civic Si is competitively priced. I think it's great. I really don't have anything bad to say about it. If you're interested in even learning a manual because I only have five weeks of manual experience, interested in learning the Civic Si is the one to do it on. It's very forgiving, very nice. Rev match downshifting makes you feel like a hero and it makes the stress level of having to manage gears that much easier because you're not really thinking about rev match downshifting at all. And yeah, that's gonna about do it for the final impressions for the Honda Civic Si. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and also make sure you subscribe. If you never wanna miss a video, make sure you turn on the bell notification. That way you'll know and you'll be able to see every single new video I post. I got a new car every single week and I make two videos on those cars every Wednesday and every Friday. The last one I missed was when my child was born. So I am always here for you guys unless a major life event happens like that. And of course, then I don't have any cars to upload. But if I'm driving a car, I'm making a video. So that being said, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next week. See you next car. Take care.